Hey yo everybody, Ross here, Captain Ross, some may call me, most people just call me Hot Ross Buns, whatever you know me as, here I am, fucking, uh, figured I'd just walk through everyone, how to go through the new radio configuration process, so if anyone had any questions or needed a guide, whenever, um, you could refer to this instead of, uh, having to flag down another individual to get you up to speed, uh, so, fucking, one big thing you'll notice is the actual, like, vanilla Arma 3 radio slot is missing it's gone it's been removed um it's no longer how radios operate radios will now appear in your outfit carrier rig or uh or backpack so that's 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 probably a big change between uh tfar and acre2 um you can find the radios as said uh in the uniform vest or backpack categories underneath miscellaneous items down here um, there, boom, you'll see, you'll see a few models of radio. Right now we just have the one for the sake of simplicity. Uh, and we'll go through a little bit of radio configuration here. So, the way we interact with our windows now, um, or rather our, our radios now, excuse me, is with control windows, self, ace, interact. Um, boom, there's our radio here. And you see it has a one right here, a one denote, denoting it's, uh, the number of the radio, you know, because so now we have, now we will have multiple radios instead of setting one radio with additional channels, even though that functionality exists here, it's simpler to have two separate radios um, on two different channels. And we'll go over that a little bit later. Uh, boom. So you just go to open when you're in control windows over your radios there, and that opens up a radio interface, which should be somewhat familiar to people who've, you know, dabbled in this type of thing before. Um, pretty easy here. What we want to do is press 8 on the little keypad down here. You should see a little PGM, as a short for program. That opens up a, another display here of some presets, some configs. You just want to press enter because the first value that's highlighted here is the one that we want. We want system presets, so we're just going to press enter. Um, and that brings us into system preset config. Same default option, and we want that option as well. So we're going to press enter again. Boom. Now we're ready to edit our preset frequency number here uh so we'll change that to the knocker six frequency which is six six dead and another cool bit of functionality here is you can actually rename whatever it is uh channel that, that you are you are speaking on here and name it something that you'll hopefully be able to uh remember and recognize to help confirm what radio channel you are speaking on and that is a pretty handy thing to have but yeah, so I'll do knocker six, just like that. Boom. Uh, then you get preset waveform after you press enter again. Um, just keep it on the default for now until we experiment with the waveforms and see what they do. It's best just to keep it on whatever the default setting is. Just make sure everyone's on the same. Um, boom. And then it says program system presets config. Um, and now you're in this radio options frequency and comsec screen. Once you've made it here, you're done. That's it. You press clear, the clear button, and that should bring you back to the main radio interface screen here. And we'll do a brief check to make sure everything is working. Knocker 6, this is Kingfish. Knocker 6, this is Kingfish. Come in, Knocker 6. And you saw, you see, you can see the, you can see the 6-6 six, six down there, as well as the Knocker 6 in the, in the bottom right in that, uh, description. So, boom. There you go. There you go. That's that. That's the easy stuff. That's the easy stuff. Let's configure a second radio. Uh, pretty easily, pre pretty easy to do. Pretty much want to mirror the steps of the first one. So now that we're in the arsenal, or in our vests, or whatever, whatever we're doing, and we're looking at our radio, boom, you can see that there's one ANPCR on channel 66. That's our radio that we just set. Um, so once you take one of these radios and configure them, they are they are they make like their own instance of radio um so you could drop this radio on the ground for example this one that we programmed um one radio on channel 66 and someone else can pick that up and actually use that frequency if, if that's the way you want to uh to do it <clears throat> so what we're going to do here is we're going to go back to our first channel here and we're going to we're going to set up two different radios at the same time here to both play in our ears at once uh, so a helpful thing for me is to separate one into my right ear and one into my left ear. Uh, your preference on what to do. I usually set radio one to my right ear and radio two to my left ear. Now that that's taken care of and can be done just in this little interface right here, I should say right ear, left ear, just, just as it does, then you can open up the second radio and boom. 
just like how it was before. It's set to zero one, and it's a random string of characters uh, denoting some settings there. That just like how how it is when we first picked up that that very first radio. Um, so we just have to do the same thing again here with this one. Uh, we'll go down to eight, which is the program key to program the radio. Then we'll go to system presets, system preset config. Boom. Now we're at the frequencies. Which frequency is this going to be? This is going to be the command net uh, kingfish respond frequency. So we'll make that six zero and we'll, you can call it something like, you know, I'll just call it king for, for the sake of, uh, oops. You can also find that, uh, it's pretty easy to fat finger and get get an extra um, character in there, or, or or a wrong character that you didn't quite intend. So just be mindful of that. I find uh, getting to the character you want and then using the right and left arrows to be the uh, the most reliable in that regard. Boom! It's Kingfish description default waveform, and here we are at this little this little presets radio options frequency comsec screen again. That means we're done. So we can press clear. Bada boom, bada boom. And now we got six zero kingfish. So, uh, how how does that all work? Well, it's it's caps lock to speak on the regular radio, and whatever whatever radio one you have will be push to talk one, and the push to talk key or push to talk one is bound to caps lock. So if we try that out, boom, there you go. So you can see sixty six there, knocker six, looking looking good, and you can also see an R down there to let you know that's in your right ear as well. And if you want to speak on your second radio, which will be def by default push to talk to, the bind for push to talk to is control caps lock. Uh, so you want to bind whatever your second radio is to the you know channel that you're going to be using the least because you'll be you know it's a bit more of a cumbersome bind at least by default. So we'll do uh, control caps lock six zero kingfish six zero kingfish checking in, and boom you can see it's um. You, on your client, you can change these notifications to be a different color. So I, for my first radio, I have orange, and on my second radio here, I have green. So I can really tell if it's if something's different. You know, at, just at a glance and see which see which channel I'm speaking on. Really cool functionality. Um, and you can see down there it's six zero on Kingfish uh, through through the left ear channel. So boom, just like that, just like that. You can also see if you uh. Since it's control caps lock, it's very easy to release control before you let caps lock, and now you're speaking on that other channel. So be mindful of that. Be mindful of that. If you're if you're doing control caps lock, you want to release that bind at the same time so it doesn't do that. Um, all right, there you go. There you go. There's the radio tutorial. That's that's there's, that's really all there is to it. Radios are now physical items in your person, and fire team leaders will carry more than one radio. All right. Cheers. Take care. Take care.